Now we know that how you can use pages in the Next.js application. Let's take a look at what is the use of this app component. When we use create next app command to create a Next.js application, there is an existing file called app.js under the pages folder. This is a default app component that you get and it is used by Next.js to initialize pages. You could imagine it as an entry point of all your pages component, which render within this app component. This app component receives two parameters, which is component and page properties, or you can say page props. Component is basically a current active page component. And whenever the route of our app is changed, component will be updated to the new page component. Then we have page props. The page props is the initial data that we inject into the page when the page is first loaded. This can be done by calling get initial props on the custom app component. Yes, you heard it right. You can create your custom app component in the next JS as well. You can override this app component with your custom one, which can allow you to do amazing things just like persisting layout between page changes, keep state when navigating pages, custom error handling using component did catch, inject additional data into pages and adding a global CSS to the page. Creating a custom app component is an advanced part. We'll look at that later. Just for now, let's suppose that you want to create a new navbar and display them on all the pages. First, we create a navbar component in inside this post and then we print that on all the pages. So let me just create a new file here inside this post. I'm going to create a new file and name that file navbar.js and inside this let me first create a function i can simply say here export function and then i can specify name navbar like this or you can create a function like this as well you can create a variable navbar is equal to but make sure you export that using export default navbar both the statements are identical Let's use this one. Let me get rid of this. And now let me create a navbar. I'm going to simply create here a return statement. And inside this, I'm going to create a JSX and create my navbar. So let's create here a division tag. I'm going to specify a class name to it. I'm going to specify container here. Then I'm going to create a UL tag, an order list. And inside this an order list, I have my list. Inside this list, I have my anchor tag. If you want, you can put this anchor tag in the link tag as well. I'm going to leave this as it is. Just for this example, I'm going to leave this anchor tag as it is. Then I'm going to say home. Let me duplicate this li tag three more times. And then I'm going to change this to about. This became blocks. And this became contact. Now, just out of that, let me style this navbar right inside this style folder. Let me create a new file. And I'm going to name that file navbar.module.css. I'm going to import this file in the navbar at the top. So I'm going to say import styles from then specify double dot forward slash again. And then I'm going to specify the styles folder. And then I'm going to specify the navbar module file. Just out of that inside this navbar module here, I'm going to create classes. So I'm going to first create here container. To this container, we pass 100% width, then margin is going to be 0, background is going to be RGBA color, I'm going to pass here RGBA color, so, and alpha is going to be 0 0.9. Just for that, I'm going to specify color to it, color is going to be white spawn. Just for that, inside the container, as you know, we have ul tag so we pass here ul and inside that we have li tag so we pass here li we specify float left then we select the container again then we select the container again select the ui li and create hover effect on it when we hover on the li we specify color black that's it this is a very simple styling for this now save this file back to the navbar and as you know to access this container you need to use this style here so instead of this container i'm just going to say styles dot container like this let me save this file back to my project and here i'm going to say post at navbar when i press enter 
here I'm going to get an error message. This is because the import file can't resolve the style navbar module. You have to specify here dot CSS. Now when I open my navbar, I'm going to have the result something like this. I need to specify height as well to the navbar. So just out of this width, I'm going to specify height 30 pixel. Let me change the font size to this navbar and remove this disk. So I'm going to copy this statement, paste that up here. And I'm going to specify here disk list style none. So this will remove this disk from this UL tag. Now just for that, let me add some space between these. So I'm going to just specify here display flex and gap is going to be 1 EM. Here you can notice I'm going to have some gap between these navigation items. Just start that. Let me just specify here font size, which is going to be 14 pixel. Let me just change this height and I'm going to specify here 24 pixel. And here I'm going to have now bar. You can see now what I want instead of black color. So instead of this black, I'm going to choose this yellow color. This one, when I hover it, you can see I'm going to have this yellow color to this navigation items now once you finish your navbar what i want to do is i want to display this navbar on every page so i'm going to just back to the app component and at the top here i'm going to say import navbar from the post something like this and then i'm going to copy this navbar and to this render statement right here i'm going to pass empty bracket like this print my navbar here and after that i'm going to print this component so i'm going to grab this component and paste that here and now if i back to my home page you can see i'm going to have my navbar here and if i back to my first post by clicking on this go to first post you can see here i'm going to have this navbar in the first post component as well so we are going to have this navbar on every page of the application so this navbar component will now show in every page of the application how cool and simple it is so you can use this app component in many different ways. Now, let me just show you what do we have inside this page props. If I copy this and if I say here console.log page props, let me save this, open my console and reload the browser. You can see here right now inside this page props, I'm not going to get anything. This is because this page is not depends on any external data. I'm not using here get static props to create this page what if i open the component this home page inside this home page you can see right down here i have a function called get static props and we get this data from the api or you can say from the external source and then specify that to the page now because this page it depends on the external source if i open here components home when i press enter and inside this console, I'm going to have my get static props data. You can see here, we are passing this data to the component from the external sources. If I open here page component, then you can see inside this console, I'm going to get this data. We have the title and the description data. This is because we pass this data to the get static props function. So you can see inside this app component, inside this page props, you get all the properties of your page. Or you can say you get the data of your page and inside this component you have the current component so if i print this component right here reload the browser then you can see right inside this console i'm going to get the current component which is the page component if i change this to home inside the component variable i'm going to have my home component you can notice so this is how you can use this component in the next.js application